Welcome to Grow and Give, a modern victory garden project from Colorado State University Extension. We're here to help you learn to grow food for yourself, your family, your neighbors, and your community. Insect pests of vegetables, tomato, potato, psyllids. Psyllids are little insects, not much bigger than an aphid but they cause big problems for our tomatoes and our potatoes. Fortunately, they don't overwinter here. Instead, they're tourists. They overwinter in an area on the border of Texas and Mexico. And in the early part of the summer, they start migrating north. They migrate past the front range of Colorado and up into parts of Wyoming. These are small insects that when they arrive, most people don't notice them but they lay eggs that are a yellow egg on a little stalk. So they're held away from the leaf. And when the eggs hatch in about five days, their larva looks like small brown scale that you'd see on a house plant. There can be three or four generations per year for us and the population continues to build. Even though they are a sap feeding insect, the damage goes way beyond how they feed on our plants. They have a toxin in their saliva that they inject into the plant itself. This causes plants to be stunted and yellow and the fruit of the tomato or the tubers on the potato can be small or misshapen. The disease that these insects cause with their toxic saliva is known as psyllid yellows and it really, really destroys a lot of crop, setting it back to the point where if you're trying to grow for a small farm or a CSA, you can lose quite a bit of your potatoes because they become unsellable. The insects arrive in our area and are, as I mentioned, not very noticeable. But one of the things that a gardener can look for is the excrement. The excrement of a psyllid looks like salt or sugar, as if someone had dumped a bowl of this over the plant itself. As you can see in this photograph here, it's really obvious. And another indication is that yellow jackets, the wasps that we find annoying us at picnics, love this waste material because it is basically sugar. So they'll be grooming our plants. You might see a lot of wasp activity around your potatoes or your tomato plants. And when you carefully get closer, you'll see that they're grooming the plant of this waste material. Those are two different ways that you know your plant has a problem with psyllids. Controlling psyllids is very difficult. There are just not that many insecticides that are uh, really effective on them. If you're out scouting your plants, and again, going out and looking at your plants, trying to find any problem before it gets too big, if you find indication of psyllids early on, you can use an insecticidal soap. You spray it on the upper and lower leaf surfaces. This is another problem with this type of insect attack, is that the, the young, the little nymphs, will attach themselves to either part of the leaf upper or lower, and the canopy of potatoes and tomatoes can be somewhat dense. So trying to get in there with a spray of insecticidal soap or some of the pesticides that are labeled for it can be very, very challenging. The big thing is to try to act early. Start scouting your plants now for any problems with potato tomato psyllids. Grow food, give locally support your community. Contact your local CSU Extension office.